Hey, welcome back to Go Calgary. You need gloves after a barbecue. Why you say? Well, because Chris is going to tell us that once we enjoy our barbecue, we should clean it because we don't want any salmonella poisoning. We just, well, we want to show off to our friends and buddies, don't we? That's correct. So hi, Phoenix, and welcome. So today, as you were just doing uh, earlier, you were cooking with the ribs and you had some gristle and so some grease. So good, by the way. Oh, uh, my gosh. Isn't, it, isn't the Bluefin kitchen just delicious? Love it, love it. All right, so you want to make sure that you want to clean your grill. You want to clean any type of tool that you're using. Have protection. What's going to happen is, yes, you want to be safety conscious. You don't want to have any flare-ups or burns on your hands. So you want, what you want to do is work top down. So first we're going to start with the, the grates themselves. We're using some nice, just clean soap we'll and water. Let's grab some of that then. So right. are you just, what are you just grabbing a, a simple yeah. little cleaning cloth? And exactly. Just, so and Also you can use some handhold uh, uh, wipes, wipes, yeah. wipes yeah. from home Is it well? true you want to pretty much clean the grill about maybe a half hour after it's done, give or take, while yeah, it's still so you, warm. You've done a lot of work to prepare the food, so why don't you enjoy it, have a nice meal, and then come back a half hour yeah. to an hour later and clean it while it's nice and cool so you don't burn yourself again. Okay, Chris, I'm telling so you, So I think man, you're doing pretty well there. So I, I, I get we're flare ups nice all the time on my grill, and right. is this part of the reason why this is happening, because I don't exactly. clean it properly? The one thing, the <laughs> biggest Sorry, thing that's, mi that's missed with grilling is cleaning the grill. And it's, yeah. you know, it's an important part of, of, of the, of the of the procedure the for, whole process, yeah. for cooking, you bet. So yeah, so let's go ahead and let's clean these grates. So you can use any type of wire brush. You can mm -hmm. use the, the, the smaller brush yeah. or the, the, the manly brush. brush. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you wipe it down, give it a little right. scrub. Exactly, so you just want to get rid of that gristle and everything's going to fall down to the plates of the barbecue there. Beautiful. And so then we want to remove the grill because it's actually inside that we really want to get to. Exactly. So, so you can, use, you can use some some pliers if you need to or if you can just lift them out however yeah. you like. And what man doesn't have a pliers by his barbecue? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Like, again, you just want to make sure those are cool before you do uh, that. The underside too? Yes, please. Oh, see. No, but you clean the underside as well too? Absolutely. Ah. Yeah, a little trip there for All right. For so you. now the plates of the barbecue and this is where the burners uh, are uh, as well and as well the igniters. So sometimes That's you may have trouble. Chris. <laughs> it isn't it. You've so, got so, a terrible grill. <laughs> that's right. So hear me out. So sometimes you have some trouble with igniting it, and that's because you have a lot of soot and debris and gristle that's collected onto the plates itself. So we got to get rid of this too. That's right. So, same, same process? Again, yeah. You just use your, your brush and you want to scrape those away and get rid of that kind of stuff. Uh, soap and water as well too. That will help. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't hurt. And do this again while it's still semi-warm. So waiting the next day or the next time you barbecue is probably not a good idea. That's right. You want to make sure it's just been burnt, uh, the I fresh material's fallen down, and now it'll be easier to clean afterwards. So now it's fallen down, we need to Correct. suck it up somehow, don't That's we? right. So you want to take these plates out. Beautiful. Okay. Let's assume these are nice, pristine, and clean. Absolutely. So once we get these puppies out, now we've got all of the residue that's fallen to the bottom of the grill. That's right. So you can see there's quite a bit of, of material and garbage and soot that's uh, collected. Man, you, you do not take care of your grill. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Chris? It was okay. my, it's, it's the pre-summer <laughs> clean, so here you can see throughout <laughs> yeah, winter it's right. been doing it. Okay, now all how right. do we clean this? All right, so we have our trusty shop vac, any type of household shop vac. So oh, you we wanna... just suck it up. Absolutely. So you just... Uh, already the front of the grill, I guess, just a, a, a yeah, kind of cleaning wipe. Yeah, after we're done that, we're going to use our household wipe with our cleaning agent. Go okay. ahead and clean the front of the grill. You bet. Yes. Let her look nice and clean and tidy. Yeah, Absolutely. because again, Great you know, we're there to make. Look at, I'm doing all the work for you, man. What's going on here? <laughs> it's called delegation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chris. All right. Thank you very much. Keep it nice and clean. We're going to suck this up. We're go Calgary coming up here on Shaw. How come I always do all the dirty jobs? <laughs> Good job, Chris. Excellent work.